behavioral science is really about understanding how people behave in the real world. You know, we know from decades of research on social science, economics, psychology, that people often behave in ways that would be, you think of as irrational. When you think about the application of behavioral science, it's actually being used all the time in the commercial world. The really exciting thing that I have seen though is in the last couple of decades, all of these insights are really being marshaled into the public sector. So you have experiments all around the world where they found that if you use you know, behaviorally informed nudges, you can improve participation in everything from you know, school attendance, take up of public programs such as retraining programs, you can improve outcomes related to retirement savings. And so that has been really exciting to see. So if you're interested in applying behavioral insights in your work, I would say the four things you need to do. First, just get your hands on a toolkit and get familiar with a few behavioral concepts. There are a lot of great ones out there. Then pick your problem and do some user research. Third, apply your behavioral insights. Look for opportunities. You know, is there an email that you could send out? Could you change an existing communication? Can you change some small step in the process, removing hassles, for example? And then if you have the opportunity, really test if you can. So for example, I'm a going principal investigator of a study where we're helping unemployment insurance claimants in North Carolina keep uh, adhering to the work search requirements, to do the work search they're required to do in order to get benefits. You know, the needs, of people, especially the people who face barriers to employment, you know, barriers to education, ba barriers to opportunity, those needs are evolving very, very fast. And behavioral science is becoming increasingly important because our public programs need to evolve really fast and need to gain efficiencies in new ways and be able to change faster and better. And that's why I think it's always been important, but it's becoming especially important in this day and age.